In this video, we're going to take a look at using an animator and doing a text animation and affecting the offset to add some interest to that. So we'll start by selecting our text tool and typing some text. Animated text using offset. Okay, and we'll put it uh, where we want to put it right in the middle. So I'm going to use the Align panel and then to the composition I'm going to go ahead and just vertically center it and horizontally center it and vertically center it and that gives us a good starting point. And so now we'll look at uh, animating this. So here we'll use go back to Fit and uh, look at my options under the text layer and I drop it down and right away I see Animate as an option over here and transform. I'm going to get rid of this layer by holding down the option and shift key and clicking and so then we can just focus on one thing at a time. So we'll select animate and we'll go to something uh, simple like uh, position and now we've got this new animator one layer that gets set up. Underneath that is a range selector and then then the property that we're changing, so position. So um, I'm going to change position here, but I know that this is where it's going to go to. You know, we're going to change its start position. So if I have my rulers turned on, which you can do under View and then Show Rulers, then uh, using my selection tool, I can go ahead and grab a guide right out to see where this text is going to end up. So it's going to end up stopping at this point. I just want to have kind of an idea using my guide here. Okay, so now if I, I'm going to do the offset, uh, here are my X and Y, so I'm just going to change my Y coordinates to have it come from below. And we'll have it start from here and then shoot in. So now that I've got that, we'll look under Range Selector, and here you can see that the start is at the 0%, and then the end is at 100%. So... Um, this is our uh, starting point right here, and our ending point is where it was. So now uh, the offset is all we need to really change to animate this. So I'll start the keyframes, and we'll start it at zero, and scrub out a little ways here, and then set uh, another keyframe here of the offset to 100. And notice that as I'm moving it across the percentage of the offset, it shows you know, you were seeing it being animated. So here it's going from zero to 100%, starting at that one position and then animating up. Let's take a quick peek at that. Okay, and there we have it uh, coming up like that. Okay, so from here I'm going to deselect and select the layer again and add another animate. So I'm going to select opacity and you see now we have animator 2 so we have these animator 1 and animator 2 alright let's take a look at using the second animator here so with this animator the opacity uh, 100 percent so I want to have it our starting at 0 so we can't see it at all right now if we uh, scrub we can see the animation that's happening there but we look under the range selector and so 0% opacity is our starting point and our ending point is at 100. So let's go ahead and add the offset. And I added the first one here at 0%. And I'm going to go to approximately the same spot as when the animation of the, the titles coming up is ending. And I'll set that at 100 here. And now uh, when we take a look at this animation we have the text fading in from 0% um, of opacity. So we got kind of a cool effect kind of where it just seems like it just kind of comes on to the stage. It doesn't even have to come from off stage because its transparency was already set to 0. So there's another example of using the offset and combining two animators.